Directions for creating your symmetrical butterfly. Remember your name and teacher code on the back. Carefully fold your paper in half like you're making a card. Be sure that your edges are as lined up as they can be before you make the crease. The paint you're using has been watered down, so be careful when you're painting with it because it might be a little bit more drippy than you expect. To start making your butterfly, you're gonna start with the head and the body, and we're only painting half of it. So I'm making these kind of three hill shapes to make half of the body, and I'm adding my paint pretty heavy on the paper and gently massaging it after I fold it closed. If you open it and you discover there's white spaces you don't want, just pat your brush around in that space and close it again and gently massage your paper again to make sure it looks how you would like. Start your wing, you'll find just underneath the head and make a slightly curved line that goes up towards the corner of your paper. Make sure your wing's not too small so it should be pretty close to the edge. And then for the middle part of your wing, you're going to make a horizontal line that goes almost to the edge and then fold it close, gently massage it. Now we're going to add the very bottom line. So kind of near the end of your butterfly, you're going to make a diagonal line that almost touches the edge. Fold it close and gently massage it. Now we will check to see if there's any touch-ups you need to happen throughout your painting process. You can always fix any spots you don't like. Now for the wing, you're gonna make a little hill and a dip to attach, and then fold it over, massage it, and check to see that the paint has transferred how you like. If not, you can always do touch-ups, no problem. So mine was a little bit light, so I'm gonna add some more paint there and fold it so to make sure they're matching. And for the bottom part, you're going to make kind of a curved line, sort of a rainbow shape from that middle horizontal line all the way to the bottom line of your butterfly. Fold it over, same thing, gently massage it and open it up. Now we're going to add our antenna. So just use the tippy top of your brush so that when you massage the back of your paper, your paint doesn't spread out too much, or you might have extra thick antennas, which that's okay if yours turn out thicker, no big deal. Now we're gonna add a parallel line next to the kind of top part of the wing. And we're just adding our line details right now. And same thing for the bottom, parallel line, and a few little squiggles to fill in some of that space, not all of the space. And then we'll add the middle details on the wings, kind of the veins on the wings that are usually black. So curved line kind of looks like a Y in a couple areas. Only do a couple lines because you want to have room to add color. And you're going to repeat the same process for the bottom wing. And as I said, do any touch-ups along the way as you need to. Just don't forget to fold it and gently rub the back of your paper. Next time when your butterfly is dry, you are welcome to add color with whatever coloring materials you would like. Maybe you want to use markers like I did on my very colorful one, or maybe you want to use crayon like I did on my kind of more traditional colored orange monarch butterfly, but you get to decide. Maybe you want to use both markers and crayons. However you add color is fine with me, so whatever coloring materials you would like. 